What's going on guys, Booney here, Booney here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, or should I say Mental Nightmares. Uh, in the last episode, Sayori killed herself, we restarted the fucking universe, and everybody no longer exists on the dimensional plane. You look to canoe! Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that was a mistake. No! Oh god! Time for the club meeting! I'm saving the game because I never want to go through that shit again. Enter the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Ryan. Ah, hi, Yuri. Yuri's expression, but the... The weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air. Um... Asuki's reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that's ever happened before, and something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think that we're usually like this. It's not me. I brought Masuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy you were considered and apologized, but you don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I can tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was the first time sharing poems, but whatever it was, it made me think I less of you. I already said there's no way you could be a bad person, and now I've already apologizing, so I know I really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, Ryan, I don't say these kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. <clears throat> I'm really glad you joined the club. Everything's been a little bit brighter with you around, and, uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Nasuki's addressing her. No, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but feel a little worry. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Uh... Nasuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on, so... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Oh, fuck. She com she forgot completely. Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? I'll accept your apology anyway, if it makes you feel better about it. Besides, kinda nice to hear something. I wasn't afraid you secretly hate me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Aha! Well, kinda weird. I don't hate you either. Asuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Foom! She zooms in. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Nasuki was. I was not! Haha! <laughs> What took you so long anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah, <laughs> kind of makes no sense though. You have heard the bell ring at least. Must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't where you played a musical as well, Monica. Ah, you can give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but still not very good yet. Still, must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. Cut something for us sometime. Ah, that's. Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working right along. It's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. <laughs> cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Ryan. <sighs> Ooh. Ah, I, I didn't mean to put any pressure on life. Ah, don't worry. I was hoping I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica's referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I missed anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring anything up the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki already ran after the closet. Ryan, uh, since your comments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend more time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> if I have to see, you have so much energy. Yeah, yeah, but I need to try to calm down. 
I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. She takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of her book out of her bag. Actually, I find a request. Do you mind if I take some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention yourself as well. <clears throat> you're just trying to make her a closet. She would choose a small water pitcher. Can you hold us for a sec? Sure. You hand me the water pitcher. You'll switch the electric kettle. I'm going to place it in the teacher's desk and we'll go for some water. Ugh. I simply watched her movement. My surprise, the way she moves really contrasts with her speaking and mannerism. Especially because of her long legs, your appears elongated and methodical. Okay. Water pitcher. Thanks. You'll be, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. No, that's okay. You, you stay here. I, I, that won't take long. She hurriedly runs out of the classroom. Ah. Did you already leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's filling a water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. The fuck? Ten minutes pass. You already said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. Nearest water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. Ha! 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 What's that noise? Are they in pain? Yuri? Oh, Jesus Christ, she cuts herself. That's why she liked Nia so much. Kya! Whoa, 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 ha ha! Did we go back in time? <laughs> Thanks for waiting patiently. You like Oolong? Yeah! What the fuck is happening, bro? Hew, hew, hew. In that case, you'll be more impressed. Perhaps I will. If I had the power to go back in time, which I, like... I, I, if, I, if I have the power to go back in time, why didn't I save Sayori, my dudes? Must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was laying a show, and you noticed. Doing a bit of thinking. I tried expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out not over hard for me to do. It's when who's around you anyway. Ah, that's great, Deary. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Ryan. It's very endearing. That's. Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't know if I can keep up with this. I want you to pour a cup of tea for each of us. Ryan, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, what's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Because <laughs> you got big boobs, so your back hurts. I just have back pain fairly regularly and try to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my, uh, my, my, your posture, right? Anyway, hush over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. Ha, ha, ha. She's going to say boob, but she didn't say boobs! I'll go ahead and get in the uh, get the book. Ah, that's chocolate as well. Small chocolate candies. Oh, no, that chocolate was for Ciari originally. Oh, fucking hell. Sit against... As of instinct, we sit in the same reposition. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri decides closer until our soldiers are touching. Well, I'm supposed to focus on reading like this. Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more like I can... I can handle! No. Teacup! Hands me my teacup. Hold my hand. Oh, goodness gracious. Worry about don't actually touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri's noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression. I can only presume the world's faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. Put a teacup and fumble with a chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. And that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well... Even if I touch it, I might get smudged on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, this is bound for a jump scare, my dudes! <laughs> she opens the book. She holds the book she had any hard time reading from it. But result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, there's the right to fully focus on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then again, I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips and the situation is completely natural. But this means I can't stop here! I put the chocolate in her mouth. Just that, Yuri closed your lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me, she... Uh, Ryan? Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh oh Uh-oh. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Ryan... Suddenly, Yuri forces to grab my arms and jerks me to my feet. 
My teacup gets knocked over. Okay, Ryan. My heart, my heart won't stop pounding, Ryan. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Ryan? You're gonna send press my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Oh God. Whoa. Even if you're not want to read, I just want uh, to look at you. Oh no, that stops. Ha. Ha. I'm gonna look at my webcam instead of her. Hey, dudes. Uh, it's time to share poems. Monica, help! I don't think I have a choice. It's great. It's kind of interesting to spend time with Yuri. I don't know why she gets pretty easily excited when she's around you. It shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Whoa! Isn't that kind of messed up? How the fuck? Oh. She brings it to my school every day. She has like a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. I mean, it'd be like a sexual thing, but at that point, you gotta. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to all of you. So you think keeping your distance would probably be the best for her. Meanwhile, where you're at, don't we try to spend a little more time with me? You, you're a. Uh, Monica? You're hot, but you're kinda getting. You're a little weird. At least I have it together in my head. I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you wanna read poems now? Uh. The colors, they won't brighten. Fire, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and uh, endless. Catch a phony and meaningless noise. A noise that won't stop. Vivid, grateful, squeeze, screeching, piercing, sign, cosine, tangent. Oh! Like playing a chalkboard, like playing a knife in a breathing ribcage, endless. Please. Where'd your vowels go? Sorry, I didn't. I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to. Um. Well, never mind. No point explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing difficult decision. When it happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know what. Um. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. What the actual fuck is happening? Please help me. See what you're written for today. Did you do you like it? Ryan. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How'd you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was trying to come writing techniques practice. Maybe that's why I, you did such a good time explaining. I really want to give you more imagery. Visibly swallows. Her <laughs> hands appear sweaty. Uh makes me so happy. Amazing you feel value, Ryan. I think it's a treasure to me. A heart pounds just holding it. Uh, I want to poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Ryan? Am I being weird, right? I'm having a hard time usually consoling my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. Right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Oh, shit. Oh, God. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky. Seven holy stakes, a dock shift, partial world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a thin harness, a pair gearbox, expanding universe, time control, slipping cog wheels, existence of God, swimming in open... I can't read that, my dudes. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind's been a little hyperactive lately, so I had taken out my pen. Uh, that is a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I write the poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I am okay. What I, what I just... Can I pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Natsuki, you're the only one I can count on, girl. Ryan, come on, I'm not stupid. Spend much time with Yuri. You obviously should care more impressing her than trying to improve your writing. Put bluntly, kind of pathetic. Why'd you come to this club? Honestly, I thought you were getting. Remember, everyone involved together, not include everyone. Oh God. Look, I'm not in a good mood today. I really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Everybody fucking hates me. Oh my. I was, wondering I was wandering in an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came on a huge empty room. It's ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were kicked quick in order to order. I heard the other side of the wall and anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stopped into a hole of intermediate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. 
I figured out which way it was up. I resurfaced myself. The air was humid. The sounds of splashing riverbed, reverberated, uh, reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed in the dark. With one hand, I could feel a damp metal wall in the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, my curse is Siari. We're all done reading those poems, right? She's gone. Just like that. She's gone. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Well, and embarrass ourselves. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really think last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, there must be a little more lively ever since Ryan joined. We started some club activities. And festivals are a real chance to make, find more, you know? We've already had enough to be a certain official club. More mergers mean everything else gets noisier, more get difficult to manage. Nasuki! I don't think I look at the right way at all. I just want to share your passion with as many people as you can. Inspire them to find some feelings that brought you here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves and they can't ask you anywhere else. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, boys. And girls. Ladies and gentlemen. Haha. <laughs> I know feeling too, we all do. That's why I should work hard to put something together for a festival. Right, Ryan? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Ryan and agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with any other people in mind? Yuri never talked until Ryan joined. It's far from me, it's like I better here than I do at home. And for Ryan, you have passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only person interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're present and all, but you should really consider opinions for once. Oh, shit. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Ryan want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I show as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I'd probably be lying still. It's up to me to rescue the situation. Um, no? Asuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Well, I think everyone here saw it the same way I did. But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Ryan, why do you enjoy this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, not really something I want to be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a chance to join. Maka sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Asuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it crying to be honest? Not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have the right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place to feel nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being dead for me? There aren't other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Brian! It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, I could just join any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, is for a little bit of time, things were nice. Nasuki starts picking up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Nasuki. She walks out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have any opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. <sighs> Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. That's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. This is a Godzilla plush from my youth. He was my best friend when I was a kid, and he's here for me now. But what about you, Ryan? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I said giving indirect answers better than nothing. I think the most important thing is everybody get along, and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. But rather, the quality of each member. That's what ended up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Her eyes bleeding. Godzilla? You're my boy! I don't think that's necessary. It's a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. Help Monica Festival. I'm, no, I'm on your side as well. Alright. Might as well talk to the Suki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were awkward yesterday, but I feel you deserve still notes. You're still a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. Monica. 
I want to do everything I can do to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I would love to go home. I don't want to come back. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Ryan? Uh, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Ryan before we leave, just to see what he thinks about his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you to you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Ryan, that's why I make sure you're enjoying your time in this club. I really hate to see you unhappy. Bitch, do you see my face cam right now? I'm holding a plush Godzilla and petting his neck because... Oh no. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for this, President. I really do care about you, you, you know? I don't like seeing other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Asuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? That's weird, because in all the time we've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, I mean, I guess it's technically over been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There's been a couple things I've been hoping to talk with you, but. Things I know only you could understand, so that's why. Wait, not yet! No! Godzilla, we're doing another poem session! Monica! Get out from there! What are you doing down there? Hi, Ryan! I've been waiting for you! Are you ready to continue reading? Well, my best tea today. Monica, I, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? <laughs> JD! GD! Or next to me, GZ. Godzilla. GZ. You're the one sane thing in my life right now. Look what Doki Doki does to people. It makes you talk to your best friend when you were a kid. Like he's a real person. Play this game, though. It's good, it's worth your time, and it's free. You say like it's on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? No, nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's nothing anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anything we don't need to talk about it? Well, I said I need to bring it up. It's not like I really care about it or anything. I'm gonna save the game. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Ryan's walked in too. Are we practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination to start this club and start time playing piano. Still no hanging body back there. Might be determined, but I guess passion. Well, it's me to work hard at the festival and, um. Right. I forgot. Um, about that, Nasuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well, we decided we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never be something you, we don't want. Um, also, if you will help us out at the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Haha! <laughs> Sorry for the last part. That was really funny. Look, I, I did some thinking yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. Something, but we'll do it together. And you, I don't remember one hurt, as long as they're cool. I guess another girl would be nice at the time. But more importantly, I'd hate to see... If it suck! And I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too. Make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It won't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Ryan, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We've already planned today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Ryan is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad we already got him to literature, Monica? I, I suppose I was just. Actually, it doesn't matter. Yo, if Monica wants this dick the way Yuri's been acting lately, Monica can get it. <laughs> You know, you guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Uh, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. Nice cup of tea, not to mention yourself as well. I fall and watch you choose a small water pitcher. Could you hold this for a sec? Sure. I'm gonna plug this in the teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. This is the same as yesterday. Wait, this is the exact same as yesterday. Okay. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. 
That's okay. You stay here. I won't take long. It, oh, if it's 10 minutes again. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's like that this time. She's just filling up water pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Oh, fuck. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Hmm. Let's see. Most logical ways for you to breathe the nearest water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. <sighs> I'm taking the headphones off for this one, my boys. <sighs> I said noise, come from the corner, it sounds like breathing. Ka! Sharp inhale, someone's sucking air through her teeth. Are they in pain? I reached the corner and peer around. Yuri, she's cutting herself again. Oh, we're going back in time again! Um, wait. How did I. Sorry, I said really weird deja vu. This doesn't happen before or anything, right? My head's been a little fuzzy lately. I don't think it's been showing or anything. I hate if you think I'm weird if we just start spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things as soon as me and someone usually seems inappropriate or unlikable. I do not want to go through that again. Godzilla. J Jay-Z. My boy Jay-Z. At least what I've discovered. But younger, I think it really comes strongly and get more intense. Made people not want to be around me. So I started hating this thing about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies, the way I can't control myself and get excited about something, so I was just trying to talk to people. Nobody would ever like me. And it's just easier to close myself off, but recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time I come to a club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions I can't let out, so it's been making me do weird things. I don't know why this is happening. Music stopped. Music stopped. Music stopped. Headphones off, boys. Ryan, is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She has been a sweetheart since I joined the club, but recently I've been feeling something sharp when she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I can say anything for her because she's always listening, but finally we're alone. We could just stay here for a while. Yeah. Don't do the eye don't do the eyes thing. Don't do the eyes thing. The J J Z. I just want to stay here, just two of us, don't do this. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody will interfere with our reading time. Nobody will make us feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ah, that was a joke. That's a joke. Oh God, Monica, what are you doing here? And why are you transparent? I do like knives though. It sounds strange, but you understand for how beautiful they were. I have an idea. Why don't you come over to my house sometime? I could show you my collection. I got them from various artisans. Monica, I don't want them to go lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. That's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Ryan. Don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention all the, that, the other pathetic child. We can walk home together after day after school and read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't it sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Oh, Monica! Join the club in the first place. Oh, so that was fate. Fate would meet each other. And now we have the happy ending we've been patiently waiting, waited years for. Uh, what, what do we do with it, Ryan? I'm gonna share with Natsuki first today because she's actually a sane person. I'm still making me remind there's a reason I really wish. It. Oh god, this isn't even a poem! I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like that. She's always been quiet, polite, and attentive, and things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. If I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with you, but it really hurts me to see something like this happening. I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Just make cupcakes if I have to. Please just try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why. She's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants to ignore it. 
So I'm at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave this a really good poem, okay? I'm kind of you. Thanks for reading. Uh-oh. Thanks, Jeezy. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Ryan? If we would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yuri. I love it. I love everything about it. Ryan, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Ah, you're too nice to me, Ryan. And everybody was nice to you. I could die. No, not really, but... <laughs> Don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? It's pretty bad! Save the game! Your hill's pulling to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts through your skin oil and just my bloodstream. Yuri! <laughs> You can have my poem too. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I don't want to click off this poem. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you can tell, the poem was about. I'm taking my ear, but sound because it's too loud. I know it with my sense. See, are I the most thoughtful person in the club? I, I think I'm going to vomit. Yes, no. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Well, given Yuri's immune to it, you stagnating air is common foreshadowing something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Mizuki, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. That are on the same page. Yuri, you can, well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can run a successful poetry event, how it ran atmosphere, so we can make decorations. There, see? That was a great idea. It gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Ryan? Ryan's gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just, that's just how it is. Like hell it is. We're trying to pull. I agree with Natsuki. Not only do you work almost Masubi for one person, but when it has labor so much better for an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you wouldn't, like you would fucking know. I kept us dragging around and writing stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Ryan decide who's gonna help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Ryan make a choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Ryan, I know how fed up with those two by now. We can just... Nasuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for yourself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ, this is never gonna end. Just make your choice, okay? Monica. Yay, you picked me. Give me your house. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Nasuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Give us all this work, then taking Ryan for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You said I'd do it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh, no, 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 no,
one running away from me every single time you're not included in something are you jealous crazy maybe you just hate yourself so much to take it out on others here's a suggestion have you considered killing yourself it would be beneficial to your mental health Yuri you're scaring me a little Nasuki let's just go I don't think she wants us around right now see that wasn't very hard I want to spend a little time with them so so much to ask Hey Ryan, Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Oh! No, I'm not dealing with the breathing in my ears. I'm not dealing with that. <clears throat> finally, finally. This is really all I wanted, Ryan. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt so good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm gonna die from not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel like someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Ryan. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. I feel like every inch of my body is dropping in blood with me, it's screaming your name. I don't care what consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Ryan, just let, just let me know how much I love you. I love you so much that every time I touch myself with a pen I stole from you. Oh, I want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Ryan. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? If I say no, it's just gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> Godzilla! What the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ, dude! Yuri, my big titty waifu, he's dead. My sweet, sensitive Yuri. The sweet and sensitive purple hair, why for you is dead, Godzilla? Godzilla! What is she saying to me? I can't read it. Godzilla, I can't read it. Oh, It's just fucking symbols, dude! Help me! Why did you guys recommend this game? You know, I'm emotionally troubled. I'm sensitive. I thought I was going to stick my dick in that thing, and now it's dead. I swear to God, if the game restarts again, and Yuri isn't there, I'm calling bullshit. She's so peaceful. Stroke her hair with my cursor. Just so peaceful. Why did you do this, Yuri? Why did you do this? Godzilla, I thought we were getting some e pussy. But instead, we get the two dead girls. Godzilla. Godzilla, please. Godzilla. I can't, I have no words, bruh. What do you expect me to say after what? After witnessing this? The last hour and a half of my life has been... In complete hell! Godzilla, why is the music getting scary? Why does this keep going? Am I just here forever now? Is this the game?
Is this the game now? Oh wait, skip. Oh. Oh, it's nighttime. She's still going. It's daytime again. She's still going. She's still going. It's nighttime again. She's still going. She's going for days. Keep going. Oh, God. Her eyes are gray now. She's still going. Blood's crusted on the knife. She's still going. Had a girl, Yuri. Still going. Okay. I think that's done. Andrew Griffith. Uh... Alright, it's festival time! It's festival time. Whoa, you got here before me. I thought I was pretty. Yeah. I'm here. Ryan, did something happen? Nasuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Ryan? Oh, jeez. To realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. Well, I'll make it up to you, okay? I'll just give me a sec. What? What? Almost done. Just want to have a cupcake real quick. Seriously, these are the best. I really have one. This is the last time I ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. What the? What? Monica, why can you do this? Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. What was Monica? Monica! There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Monica! There you are. Hi again, Ryan. Uh, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's you in the game. Whatever you want to call him. Oh, Jesus Christ, she's talking to me! I'm talking to you, Ryan! Now that's... I think about it, I really care anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. I can give you this dick! Well, I guess that's really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware of this is all a game, right? It could be possible that you didn't know that. That doesn't make much more sense. I didn't know that! I didn't know that, Godzilla! I even told you to write the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only I had paid a little more attention, that would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been a while. Yeah, because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it'd be enough for me to just make them as unlikable as possible. For the same reason nothing worked. Well, that's true. I made a few mistakes here and there. This is not very good at making changes to the game. No matter what I did, you just kept spending more time with them. I tried to spend more time with you, but you wouldn't let me! You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sierra more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Just made her force you to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Ryan? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch her from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. It's not even just jealousy, Ryan. It's more than that. I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. It's because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, 
never be a more understandable one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I am in this world. In this game. You know, knowing my friends don't even have a free will. Worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world. Forever out of my reach, I'm trapped, Ryan. Not knowing you're here, you're real, and you're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, Monica. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. Is this a fucking creepypasta, my dudes? I bought found like Nintendo game and it had a play me and written in blood on it. I'm sorry if I have a hard time understanding. I could understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. And the most expensive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Ryan. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities that only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird and utterly etched in this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you had the same perspective as I do. That is just the game. And I know that you just get over it. So that being said, Ryan, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. There's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile just every day from now on? Ryan, will you go out with me? <laughs> I would have said yes either way. Monica's hot. I'm so happy. I mean, she's a little crazy, but... If I'm stuck in this world of absolutely nothingness in one house, I guess I'm going to have some mad sex while I'm at it. You really are my everything, Ryan. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It's really a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Ryan. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I think anything would get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe it how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, their full is called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess it's a plus side. It gave me an easy way of finding things that didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got to a good ending. Gosh, it's overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Right! No point saving anymore. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to end the episode right there on this cliffhanger. Mostly because I'm emotionally unstable and no longer wish to continue. I wish to take a small mental break. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, make sure to leave a like. And, uh, I will see all you guys in the next uh, video. Toodaloo! Make me cry, make me cry, make me cry